Hello, marketing fans. It's Jeff Wade here. I'm going to talk about uh, some damn good advice uh, for people with talent. And this is a book by the George Lois, one and only. Um, how did I come upon this book? My girlfriend's mom actually picked it up for me. I uh, couldn't be happier about that. Um, it's a super quick read. The pages all kind of look something like this. So, I, although I'm not finished, I'm, you know, 80% done. Uh, 90% done actually and it's been like two subway rides uh, so you know this is a really quick book um, but just because there's not a lot of long words doesn't make it bad in fact it's awesome I love the contents of this book and highly recommend it uh, to anyone uh, that's looking to unleash their creative potential um, especially if you're interested in advertising marketing and copywriting um, I'm just gonna read you a couple of the, the key spots to get you uh, an idea um, of the genius uh, that is contained herein. Uh, you know, so number six here, point number six is uh, all the tools in the world are meaningless without an essential idea. Um, and seven is, but creating ideas without a work ethic to follow through is inconceivable to me. Um, you know, these are things that really resonate with me uh, and hopefully with you too. Um, so, you know, he elaborates, so he says, Creating ideas without a work ethic to follow through is inconceivable to me. If you don't burn out at the end of each day, you're a bum. People watching me work ask me all the time why I'm not burnt out. How, especially now at my age, I manage to keep going. The fact is, I'm totally burnt out at the end of each day because I've given myself totally to my work, mentally, psychologically, physically. When I head home at night, I can't see straight. But I love that feeling of utter depletion. It is an ecstatic sense of having committed myself to the absolute limit. But after recharging at night, I'm ready to go the next morning. Isn't that what life is all about? Uh, so that's one, you know, that's there's some philo philosophical uh, approaches like that, um, you know, that I think anyone with a penchant for personal development would appreciate. Um, now we fast forward to 70. Uh, so there's already been nine times you know, 69 other lessons like this. Um, and this one is a little more practical. It says, uh, most great slogans have the brand name in the slogan, even twice. Uh, so that's an applicable, actionable tip for advertising or creative people. Um, so, you know, he says, when you're creating a slogan that powerfully nails a product's unique selling proposition, try to include the product name. In 1989, make time for time was my forward slogan with the product name used twice. The mnemonic slogan asked for the sale and acknowledged how busy we all were, strongly suggesting that busy readers can carve out some quality time for time. And uh, obviously time is Time Magazine uh, in this case. So that's, that's that example. Uh, so like really cool examples from big companies practical in the field. Um, but then, you know, just other really short and to the point... Um, actionable tips um, or philosophies um, so you know this book is a bit dated some of the things but uh, actually not even you know they're all timeless and applicable um, you know George also really advocates the importance of doing the right thing um, you know never ever work for bad people uh, and he talks about a client he fired and why um, you know he talks about how to use uh, theater in your pitch, um, you know, in this instance, he shares a personal anecdote where uh, he pitches the president of the company on his ad idea. Uh, the Matzo company guy is like, no, not feeling it. Uh, so he pitches harder and more excited, and the guy's like, not, don't like it. So he, you know, op though the season open window, climbs out onto the ledge and is waving the flat the ad and is just like, I'm gonna jump if you don't run this ad. Uh, and the guy's like, okay, okay, George, relax. Um, and, you know, he says, you stick to making the matzos, let me, I'll stick to making the advertising. Um, so, you know, <clears throat> George Lois, not afraid to tell it like it is. Damn good advice for people with talent. I highly recommend this. Um, you know, this guy was referred to as the, the, the classic madman, uh, the original madman, I guess. Um, but... That's the title he heavily resents. Uh, so I'll finish on that note. You know, th you can obviously find this online or at your local bookstore. It's it's very popular. Um, so I'm just going to read you this and end with that. 
uh, why I resent being called the original madman, and why, if you got it, you have a shot of following my footsteps. So, forewarned, this is pretty aggressive language. Uh, so this is George telling it like it is, uh, just a taste of what's in this damn good advice book. Um, so, in the very first week of 1960, at the time the Mad Men TV series is based, I started Papert, Koenig, and Lois, the second creative agency in the world, inspiring and tri triggering what is revered today as the advertising creative revolution. The 1960s was a heroic age in the history of the art of communication. The audacious movers and shakers of those times bear no resemblance to the cast of characters in Mad Men. This maddening show is nothing more than a soap opera, set in a glamorous office where stylish fools hump their appreciative coiffured secretaries, suck up martinis, and smoke themselves to death as they produce dumb, lifeless advertising. Oblivious to the inspiring civil rights movement, the burgeoning women's lib movement, the evil Vietnam War, and other seismic changes during the turbulent roller coaster 1960s that altered America forever. <clears throat> the more I think about Mad Men, the more I take the show as a personal insult. So, fuck you, Mad Men. You phony, gray flannel suit, male chauvinist, no talent, wasp, white shirted, racist, anti Semitic, Republican SOBs. That's a rant. And he finishes by saying when he was in his 30s, um, he looked better than Don Draper, but you can be the judge of that. Uh, so damn good advice for people with talent. I really check it out. It's a really quick read. Um, sort of like rework if you've read this. Um, you'll definitely enjoy uh, this. And that's all for today. Uh, for more marketing and sales tips and book recommendations, check out howtosellmorestuff.org. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.